Emily Wrights is an author, now a blogger and a mum of two young boys. Her first blog post, written one sleepless night, almost two years ago now, went viral, reaching more than one million people in a day. She's since been the parenting columnist for various publications, including the New Zealand Herald and the New Zealand Women's Weekly, and she's here now to tell us about her brand new book, Rants in the Dark, which she says is from one tired <laughs> mama to another. Thank you for joining us, Emily. Thank you for having yeah, and, us. And yeah. congratulations on your yeah. new book. Awesome. You're an author. You are a published author. Oh, it's it's incredible. <laughs> now, this first blog post that you wrote, you did, you, you reached a million people in just a day, 24 yeah. hours. Tell us about that. I didn't even know that could happen. <laughs> um, yeah, I um, was, it was, I had a three week old baby and a toddler, and um, I, so I was up all night. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, and I went to get back into bed after feeding my. Um, my baby and my toddler was stretched out and I couldn't get into bed and I was really grumpy and then my baby woke up again as they do. Mm. So um, I was feeding my baby and tapping out something on my um, phone. I thought um, somebody told me to just be grateful and I thought no, <laughs> not be grateful for this particular moment. Exactly. So, so I um, I thought oh, I typed out this thing. And Angrily like this? Yeah, <laughs> totally. I was I like... Bet. And um, and then I um, thought my friends who had all had second babies around the same time would think it was funny. So I was going to just do a group email actually, um, but then I thought, oh no, I don't want to hassle them. I'll um, with my ranting. <laughs> and um, so I put it on a WordPress, and then it took it off. Okay, so it went off around the world. What do you think it made it connect with people so much? Is it because you just said it from the heart? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that there's so much pressure on parents to, you know, love every second of every, you know, you can't say anything. If you say, I'm just really tired, they're like, well, some people can't have babies or, yeah. you know, or I'm, this isn't what I thought it was. Or, and then people just jump down your throat if you show any kind of there's this thing you have to be which is this perfect mama who's happy all the time and always yeah. got e everything covered knows what she's doing all the time you've got to be able to do everything all at once did you not know yeah. that Mike yeah. as a mum <laughs> um, and it's very hard to be grateful when you're covered in sick yeah and poop yeah, and all sorts yeah. of bodily other yeah. bodily fluids all over you yeah not many people like being covered in poop <laughs> so exactly well some I do but that's I a different would, show I said I would bring the, the poo humour didn't I exactly Exactly. Well, yeah. when you're a mother, that's what you're covered in a lot of the time. So you wrote this one column. It was hugely successful, a million yeah. people. And then you've obviously yeah. went on to write more and more and more. And then the book came about. Yes. I mean, I got a call from um, Penguin, from a publisher at Penguin Random House, saying, "Have you thought about doing a book?" And I thought it was my friends making a joke. <laughs> I was like, "What do you mean? Have you thought about doing a book? Of course. Like that's the dream for a writer, especially like a." A boring old mum from suburban Wellington who, you know, I never dreamed I could, I mean, be I an author. No, but I love that concept, the accidental author, and the book has gone off. Uh, you know, you're selling bucket loads of it. W would a husband enjoy reading the book? Yes, I think so. Okay, so I what, mean, what do you cover in it? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> what doesn't she cover in yeah, it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I talk a lot about, about how relationships change when you have children and, you know... Um, there is a lot of a lot of dads. It's such a, it's as big a shock for dads as it, as it mm. is for mums. You have this idea in your head of what it's going to be like when you're a parent, and then they're there, and you're like, this isn't what I thought it would be, you know. And um, I think you know my husband had that, and I talk about his experiences a little bit in there as well. And you know, so I do think that um, dads mm. would like. It. I oh, hope good. they do. I, yeah. I really hope they do. I think what works so well with it is that it's humorous, and it's not written to be an advice book. You're not advising parents. You're giving fellow parents uh, or pregnant people a bit of a giggle about what actually goes on. And you do a lot of swearing in it. And let's face it, a lot of us do speak like that in our heads. Yeah. So what's the worst advice you've been given by someone? Oh, well, I, so I kind of, a big theme in my blog is not sleeping. I haven't slept in about four years. And um, my two-year-old still doesn't sleep through the night. And my four-year-old was not sleeping when my two-year-old was born so I just have never slept ever and um, so I often get advice about how to get my child to sleep and it's just always the worst advice but one woman very genuinely said to me have you tried just asking him to go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> like, 
<laughs> wow. You should, right. <laughs> you should be the one writing the book. Oh, I love it. That advice. And just very quickly, we need to talk about Tarzan because you <laughs> got a bit got a bit tiddly and you wrote a review of Tarzan the movie and it went ballistic and oh, people oh, got offended and people laughed hysterically. He's well, there he is. Oh, take a moment. I okay. Guess. So, what happened with this? You just you talked basically I a movie review. But here, I, Emily, um, I saw. Okay. Yeah. Focus. And that focus. That's the problem, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is definitely that is definitely worth reading. And if you want to um, want to have a good giggle about parenthood in general, it really is Rants in the Dark by Emily Wright. It's out now and available in all good bookstores or online as well. And Emily still has a couple of dates left on her book tour. She's speaking tonight in Wellington and will be in Christchurch next Thursday as well. Thank you so much, Emily. Thank yeah, you. thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Check out her website for details. Oh, she is awesome. OK, still to come on the show, Mark will be serving up his chicken pancetta leek and thyme dish. Plus, we'll have another Where Are They Now? That is coming up straight after this quick break.